Hey friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, this does not work without you guys. Um, had to run the store and get some candy um, for Halloween. We're a little bit low because, well, somebody ate a lot of it. Um, to say I'm disappointed is an understatement. We heard that Tristan Hill and Antoine Woods both got sent home from practice day. Not a game, not a game now. We're talking about practice for being late. Antoine Woods said, yo, uh, won't happen again. What's happening from Germany? We had somebody who was also from Peru. Man, we're, world, we're worldwide here. So as I was going to the store, an article came across that said not only did he show up late for practice, not a game now, we're talking about practice, that last week, last week, Isaiah Thomas, okay, Isaiah Thomas from the Detroit Piston, two-time world champions, you know, back when the bad boys and stuff, you know, Rick Mahorn and Dennis Rodman before Dennis Rodman got crazy and became a diplomat. That Isaiah Thomas was with the Cowboys talking about what it takes to be a champion. Well, dude, I'm going to do me. Okay. Sorry that I do. I, it's a famous quote. And it's stuck in my head. Understand what you get here on the Joe Boo Sports Report is Mark Holmes and his craziness. You know how you have like a crazy uncle that's always saying the same stuff over and over again? That's me. I'm the crazy guy that, that forgets that I've told you the same story 50 times over and over again. I'm old. I've been hitting the head too many times. I'm crazy, okay? So if you don't like craziness and hearing the same story over and over again, just don't watch, man, because this is what you're going to get. This is what you're going to get. That's it. Plain and simple. So he fell asleep while Isaiah Thomas was speaking. To the point where Isaiah Thomas was like, yo, dude, wake the F up. That's not good. That is not good because... Just because you get drafted high in the NFL, it don't mean crap. And I don't know what the heck is going on with the Cowboys lately with defensive players. You get guys with a lot of talent, potential, but for some reason, it's a wasteland here. You think about David Irving and the talent that this fool had, talent. Like he said, I could wake up and have more talent than most people. That's right, you did. But you didn't have the freaking mentality or the realization that that shit is not lasting. Done. Rolanda McLean, another guy. You can't tell me that there wasn't Anybody better at being a thumper as a linebacker? That guy would blow people up. Didn't like to practice. Didn't like to smoke some weed. Can I see your comments? I sure can see your comments. Tristan Hill fell asleep when they brought Isaiah Thomas from the Detroit Princeton, two-time NBA champion, there to talk to the players about being a champion about being a champion. And this fool falls asleep. Tristan Hill is our second round draft pick. A guy who I said, you know what? Watch him on films, he reminds me of Warren Sapp. Maybe actually, what he really reminds me of is a Sapp, a dumbass. Excuse my language, Joseph, I'm sorry, but see, this is the thing that drives me crazy. 
this is what drives me crazy is people who don't realize what they have in front of them and waste it you think about this I remember my high school football team I remember about four players actually going on to play college football think about that because really only about 2% of high school football players make it to Division One football. 2%. 2%. Do you know how many college football players make it to the NFL? Because see, now you're taking of all the high school players, the top 2% and putting those in one group. Right? About a half a percent. About a half a percent of college players make it to the NFL. And that's not sticking in the NFL because the average career lasts about 3.5 years. You got drafted by the Dallas Cowboys in the second round. You ain't done jack in football. You show up late to a meeting. You fall asleep when you got a basketball legend trying to tell you what it took for him to get a ring to be a champion? Nah, dog. I'm actually applauding Jason Garrett for sitting his ass down. Because I don't know what the heck's going on between, like I said, we seem to keep having problems with defensive players because, you know, with Taco, Taco, I, I, I hate to say this, but he sounded like a crybaby when you were listening to some of the articles and stuff about how the coaches don't like me, they're mean, and I don't get opportunities. He sounded like a spoiled kid that was dejected, you know. Uh, he goes to Miami, he's playing okay. And now you got Tristan Hill here with Rod Marnelli, who has been like the defensive line whisperer, who's taken guys that were shit. Excuse my language again, Joseph. Hopefully Maya's not listening because I don't want Maya mad at me. But has guys that weren't shit and got them to shine. Guys that were has-beens, never was, nobodies, got them in there, got them productive, and they're going to other places to get paid. You need to be there like a sponge, literally sucking up everything that you can because here's the thing. It don't take long for you to waste a career. We've seen too many guys that have been out there. You know what? Uh, you know, I was great in college. All I got to do is show up. And next thing they know, they're on the outs. And then they realize too late, damn, I want to get back. Signed Philly 500, yeah. And th this is what kills me because it's not just football players not just football players. I think about all these fools that are news anchors, sports anchors, or, you know, sports hosts and stuff like that, that do stupid stuff to lose their job. How is it that you finally get to the pinnacle of your career and you don't hold on to this? You don't protect it. You don't try and be the best that you can be. Yeah, uh, you're right. And at this point, we might have been better. Well, we had a lot of safeties on the board at that point. Might have been better picking up that safety because he certainly hasn't given us jack. He hasn't busted a grape. I I had, uh, I, that, that's not too late. But see, here's the thing. The making, yeah, Zeke Cabo, right. Here's the thing. It's not too late, but you need to change your stuff around. You need to change, uh, you, got, you got to, you got to fix this. This is just unbelievable to me, man. I, I'm just literally so pissed off because I looked at him and I said, man, this guy's got potential. But potential doesn't mean, Jack, if you do not actually use it, if you do not try to, to get better. And I just don't understand that. I just don't. It just mystifies me. Oh, man, cattle prod. No.
So you think it's no big deal? You know what? <laughs> yeah, you, you must be a young person. See, that's a sign of disrespect. That's a sign. You, you got one job. You got one freaking job. And that is to be a Dallas Cowboy player and do what they ask. You're getting paid millions of freaking dollars. If they say we're going to have this guy here because we think it's important for you to learn what he knows, this guy's been to the top of the mountain. You ain't been jack shit. What we ask of you is to be the best football player you can be. And you cannot, you know, whoever, I, I, let, let me, let me let, I'm going to call your ass out. I'm going to call, let me see if I can find you. Frank Tank, Frank Tank, dude, yeah, and, you know what, no, if I deem it important enough for you to do this as a Dallas Cowboy player, that I feel that this is what I want you to learn, this is your job, do you go to your job and fall asleep at it, and then they just say, oh, well, no, no big deal, no big deal. Just because we had a CEO from this other company come in and talk to you about doing things better, you fell asleep in it. No, no worries. Oh, hell no. Hell no. No. The football season is 17 weeks. There's not that many off-season workouts. Training camp is only five weeks long. That time, when it's football season, you need to be all fucking football every day. And when you are a guy who is a second round draft pick, when there's opportunities for you to play because guys like Antoine Woods is hurt, Tyrone Crawford is hurt, you need to be a sponge. You need to suck up all of the knowledge. You need to be putting in extra work to get better because what you've done thus far Ain't shit. It ain't. It ain't. Sorry. It is a big deal. See, I remember that happening in college. We had Joe Przicki. Joe Przicki, his father was a used car salesman. He was Italian had that New Jersey accent. And man, I remember one guy fell asleep during film. He damn near threw the projector at him. Damn near threw the projector at him, cussed the man out. Dude damn near left there crying. And I tell you what, nobody, and I mean nobody, even yawned after that. No, it is a big deal. It is a big deal. That's saying that what you got going on for me to learn is not that important. Me doing whatever I did last night is a bigger deal. So you better not be falling asleep on, I'll tell you what, I'm going to tell y'all right now, you better not be sleeping on my videos, and I find out about it. I'm going to pop you upside the head. I, 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 just, I just can't understand it, but I need to get back home with the candy for the kitties. So I just wanted to vent my frustration. Hope I said that right, because my wife will say, don't ever use that word again because I butcher it. Yeah, boom, popped you upside the head, man. Scott, don't you ever fall asleep again on me, man. That ain't right. Happy Halloween, everybody. Bye, Stephanie. Stephanie, where you been hiding, girl? You been out dancing a whole lot? Because I ain't seen you so much. Oh my God, guys, oh, okay. The signal's gonna be messed up because I know it's gonna be messed up. But man, 
Um, I am literally busting inside because I want to tell y'all something, but I, I, I don't know if I can yet or not. My, oh God, it, this, this is, it's some exciting, I mean, this is freaking amazing, exciting ass news, and I can't wait to tell you. I've been holding it for, for about a week now, and I, oh, it's big, it's big. No, 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 it's big, it, it, it's huge. And I have you guys, every single one of you, well, not you haters. No, actually, you haters, too. I got all of you guys to thank. But it's not just about me. It's about all, I mean, all of us together, okay? But soon, very, very, very soon, I'll be telling you. All right, I'll catch you guys later. I got to keep my eyes out for the kitties.